Jim is a patient of mine for now almost a decade, and I can say that he is probably one of the most courageous people I met in my life. He was diagnosed with one of the rarest types of lymphomas. He went through a lot of treatments with me, and the courage that Jim started with at the very beginning continued through the entire journey. He showed a lot of other patients, a lot of other people, this success story, and he has big heart and he shared this with thousands of people online and taught a lot of people in this country around the world that you can beat this. The, 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 two, the, two, the two rules we have in the online forum are don't panic, don't give up. It's been likened to a war and you have to know the enemy. Knowledge is power. This is an enemy that always advances. It doesn't stay still. It's always drawing nearer. And you either advance toward the enemy and push it back, or the enemy keeps advancing toward you. You have to keep moving, you have to keep pushing, you have to persevere. This entire journey is not easy, but it's necessary. At first I was misdiagnosed um, at a local facility, a local oncologist and a local pathology lab. My wife, who has been my angel through this, had already made an appointment at the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. So I wasn't diagnosed until we went there, met with Dr. Schustoff, and a firm diagnosis came up. The correct diagnosis was peripheral T-cell lymphoma not otherwise specified. The first thought I had was, so this is it. Well, what do we do about it? We're gonna go into this, we're gonna fight it, we're gonna do what we can, and we'll see how it turns out. The current treatments are less than effective in many cases. The disease often relapses. Uh, many of them are expected to relapse. And when it relapses, if there's no primary therapy, then what on earth are you going to use for a secondary therapy? That has to go to clinical trial. And the T-Cell Leukemia Lymphoma Foundation is pushing specifically for research because that's entirely where the advancement is going to be made. Primary therapy was effective in my case, but I immediately relapsed, which dropped my prognosis even further. However, at that precise time, a clinical trial opened, and I had always viewed clinical trials as being for those who were desperate. And then it hit me, well, I am desperate. I, I want to save my life, and there's, there's nothing else to use. So I signed up for the trial, and that particular trial put me in remission for four and a half years. Participating in research is how we move the game forward. It's how we advance against the enemy. We, we don't retreat, we keep moving forward. And you keep the fight up. It was aggressive treatment, it was not easy. It's a difficult but necessary journey. There's always hope, there's always hope. I'm walking evidence of that. I'm, I'm very blessed to have successfully combated this disease for such a long period of time. I lament the, lo the loss of those who weren't so blessed. Get a second opinion, that saved my life. The first opinion would have been fatal within a few months. Get a second opinion, go to a world-class facility that performs research, clinical trials, get an aggressive doctor, and be as aggressive against the disease as your doctor is. Now, the fact that uh, that I'm still here and, as far as I know, cancer-free seven years later uh, is a testament to the advances that have been made.